Hello, this is Chapter 3, Section 2, showing multiple representations of a relation, Lesson 2, Video 1. So the example, um, first of all, I have a basic definition in our example about what a, a relation is. A relation is a set of ordered pairs. So it could be a t-chart, it could be written like the example itself is actually written in the form of a set of ordered pairs. Uh, it could be on a graph, it would be a discrete graph, not continuous. Um, however, continuous graphs can represent a relation as well. So the example itself says express the relation for the track meet scoring system three different ways. And the scores that we have are 1, 5, 2, 3, 3, 2, and 4, 1. The first thing that you need to understand is that each ordered pair is representative of x, comma, y, which is a point. So the uh, first way in which we are going to express this relation is as a table. A table is also called a t-chart, and it's called a t-chart because it looks like I just drew a t. In the left column, you put your x's. In the y column, or in the right column, you put your y's, and you get um, so one five, two three, three two, and four one. And you'll notice that a an order pair would be in the same playing field. The second type of way in order to um, express the relation is a mapping diagram. So a mapping diagram is super similar to a table. Um, it's just separated and then arrows are used to represent the two pieces of information. So again we have our X's and our Y's. So we have 1, 2, 3, and 4 and then 5, 3, 2, and 1. Um, and then you just use arrows to show what the relation is. So 1 relates to 5, 2 to 3, 3 to 2, and 4 to 1. Last but not least is to graph it. Okay, so we have 1, 5, 2, 3, 3, 2, and 4, 1. Okay, so that would be what the graph would look like. So that's three different ways to represent this specific relation. As we continue throughout the entire chapter and book and everything else, you will um, also be able to do a table and a graph for a continuous relation, but for now we're working at just, or looking at just basic ordered pairs. So for the U-try, you're going to express the given relation three different ways. So your relation are the ordered pairs 1, 3, 2, 4, 3, 5, and 3, 1. And again, you're going to show it the three ways in which I just did. So a table or T-chart, and you'll hear me reference both. And then a mapping diagram. and then last is a graph. Okay, so you're going to use those three with those ordered pairs. That is the end of this video and please make sure you come in with questions if you have any.